Do you want to be competent and dangerous or do you want to be vague and useless? You want to be inarticulate? You want to say ah and like and mmm and pause and stumble? Be unable to elucidate a vision? Be unable to compel? You want the opposite of that? You would choose awkwardness over grace? That's... It's preposterous. So, how do you become articulate? Well, by paying attention to what you say, that's a good start. And what do I mean by that? I mean pay attention to what you say. So, you can think of this as an analogy. Imagine that you're trying to walk across a swamp and the swamp is murky. But you know there's a path. You know there's a, a path of stone under the water, but it twists and moves. And if you stay on the path, you won't drown. The crocodiles in the swamp won't devour you. And as you walk forward, you can feel with your, with your next step where the stone might be. And then you feel it's solid. Then you take that step. And then you do the same thing with your foot again. You search and, and you find out what's solid and you step on it and you move forward in that manner. That's what you do with your words. It's the same thing. You feel, and you, you feel, is this the right word? How, is, it, is the fact that I'm uttering it putting me together and making me intact and stronger, or is it tearing me apart and making me dissolute and weak? And, and you can learn to do that. And you can listen to yourself, and you can stop humming and hawing and using like and you know and fillers and you can take the time necessary to craft your words carefully and you can practice merely saying what you believe to be true and you can read and you can read great writers and you can write and you can write about what you think about the problems that obsess you and you can become articulate as a consequence. I learned this in part from reading Carl Rogers, who's a great clinician, and Rogers believed that the integration of language and action was a necessary precondition for operation as an effective clinician. That you had to align what you said with who you were, and that one of the things that your clients would be evaluating you for was that capability. And you might say that someone with that capability manifests themselves as genuine and trustworthy. And, and more than that, I would say also as compelling and interesting. And so it's a moral endeavor in some real sense. Right? To become articulate is to become the master of your own tongue. And to become properly articulate is to make the word divine and to treat it in that manner and to decide whether or not you believe that it is the case that the divine word creates the order that's habitable and good and if you do believe that well go all in see what happens see what happens if you become articulate <laughs>